Hi there again. This is the crazy math lady back to talk to you about how do you solve this particular problem, um, the 2003 question one on your calculator. So we've already discussed that this is going to be a disk because it is flush to the axis and when we rotate it around, there will, be, there will not be a hole in the middle. So we're going to find on our calculator what the value of this is. So um, let's go. Uh, I have put this in my calculator. At any time, if you need to stop this, hit the pause button and um, if you need some time. Okay? But I've already put this in, 4x squared minus x cubed. And I'm going to now go to my home screen. And one of the things that you're supposed to be able to do is to be able to do a, it's called a numerical integration on your calculator. And that means to ask your calculator to integrate a function for you. So we're going to set this up. I'm going to do this in, in the new mode, and then I will change my calculator and do it in the old mode for those of you who do not have this new setup. It's very nice if you hadn't gotten the new operating system, but not all of you do. So I'm going to do, um, uh, let's see, i got to do pi times, right? I'm going to do math, no. I'm going to do math, nine. Math 9 is, um, this is what comes up if you have a new operating system. And if you don't, then it's going to come up to be something else, and we'll look at that in a minute. So we're going to go from 0 to 4. Now, um, if I don't do this right now, I'm going to forget, but I've got to put the pie somewhere. Um, and I'm going to go put it in the front. I'm going to let me put it in the front. I'm going to insert, because if I don't, I'll forget. The pie. All right, now I've got my pie in front. If not, I will forget. And so you can do this one of two ways. You can either type the function in and square it. But you know, notice I put this into y1. And so in order to work with something, I'm not going to type it every time because I'm going to mess it up. And also, in just a minute, this will be very helpful when we have to work with multiple functions and things. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this, and if you want to put it in the long way, that is totally fine. But uh, I want to show you this. So we want to integrate y1. So I'm going to put y1 in the parentheses. So y bars, bars, y bars, enter, enter, gives you y1, and I want to square it. And then I, I need to do this with respect to x. If you need to see the buttons I'm pushing, they turn red when I hit them on here. Okay. Uh, if you need the y1, there's a shortcut, and I always forget what it is. Alpha, zoom maybe? No. Alpha, trace maybe? There they are. So alpha trace gives you all of your y variables if you ever want to do that. Instead of doing bars right, enter, whatever, sorry, okay, we got it. So now I have put in my calculator what I wrote down that I wanted to do. And so now when I hit enter, it should give me the value. So 490.208 um, is my volume of that solid when we're volume. So that is, that is the answer, 490.208, and I would put that down um, as the answer. Oopsie. So that equals 490.208 cubit whatevers, and there's no unit, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay? All right, let's look at one more, and that's 2005. And this one we're going to have to be really careful with because there's a trig function in it. We're going to have to make sure our calculator is set up. So uh, go ahead and put that in your calculator. Um, I'll put it in there with you. Okay. Again, I'm going to put both of these functions into the calculator so that I can easily manipulate them. And guys, I've done this for a long time, so if you'll think like this with me, it might save you some time. Um, because, wow, this is going to get crazy. First thing I'm going to do, there's a trig function. Wah, wah, make sure that you are in radian mode. They are being much less lenient on that, so make sure you're in radian mode. Now I'm going to clear. 
never went back and did that. I'll have to, at the end, I'll help everybody who doesn't have this operating system. I'll help you. Uh, I said I'd do that a minute ago, and I forgot to. All right, so we're going to put in 0.25. I always put in um, fractions like that when I can. But, you know, I'm not. I have a fraction key. Uh -huh. There's my fraction. That's so fun. No, it's alpha of y equals. There's my fraction. And so I'm going to hit 1 and do 1 over 4. And then I'm going to do uh, plus sine of pi x plus sine of pi x. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the 4 to the negative x. 4 to the negative x. The thing I really love about this new operating system is that it makes everything look like it should. All right, so those are my two functions. Um, and I really don't have to graph them because the graph is given in the problem. All right, so let me go read the problem now. It says, uh, the shaded region, so that, what we're going to do is we're going straight to C. You can do A and B at another time, but I'm, I'm really here to talk about the volume. So the volume of the solid is generated when the horizontal line y equals negative 1. So if we think about this, y equals negative 1 is way down here, right? Very similar to the um, example we did with the calculus of motion. So the big R will be the distance from here all the way down, okay? This is 1, because this is y equals negative 1. So we're going to add up from this point to this point. got to figure out what that is. That's my, one of the things I'll do once I get graphing. Um, we'll call that from A to B. And we're going to call this point eh, um, I don't want to do that, because that's going to confuse me. Um, we're going to go, yeah, we can. We're going to call this point whatever we want to, AC, and call this point CD. And that way we can go from A to B. And once we find those, uh, we'll denote that that's what they are, and we can just leave the A and B in our notation. And we're going to take the pi out, don't forget him, and we're going to do big R squared, that's the outer circle, minus the inner circle, right? So the big R is 1 plus the distance to this function. So it's 1 plus, and that is your f of x. So big R is 1 plus this distance, plus the distance from there to there is f of x. Little r is 1 plus the distance to g of x. So we're going to subtract that. This is your big whole donut, and this is your whole. Okay? So if you've denoted what f of x and g of x are, and you find a and b, this is perfect, no, you got to state it, and we'll state it in just a minute, and then we'll be ready. This is perfect notation for us to give College Board um, and ETS to know what we're doing, so the graders will grade it. But we got to find A and B first and denote what they are, okay? So let's go find, oh, I guess we did graph that, and that one. So um, this window, I don't know how big that is. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm going to go from... 0 to 2. I don't know. Maybe that'll work. 0 to 2. I don't have any scaling on this. Then I'm going to go 0 to... Well, if this is a sine graph and you add 1 fourth, I'm going to go 0 to 2. Because that would be 1 and a fourth. Let's see. If we don't see the picture, then we'll try it again. I see the picture, see what I need, 
I actually have a lot more than I need, and that's going to not be good later. So I'm going to take this part off. This looks about one because my scale is one. So um, I'm going to go just a little past one and do like one and a half, and I'm doing this for a reason because later on when we try to find things, it's easier if the window is smaller. Okay, I said that was a little So now we need to find these intersection points. And so we're going to do second calc, second trace, intersect. And I'm going to move a little closer to my point of intersection. And then it says first curve. And yes, I'm on the first curve. So I'm going to hit enter. And then it says the second curve. And I'm going to hit enter. And then that's close to my first intersection. So there it is. So my first intersection is 1.78. And I'm going to actually do something right now that's going to help me. Okay? So right after you find your intersection, I need you to second quit. And what we're going to do is store this in as A, right? You have to store this value in. So I'm going to hit store, hit the store button, alpha A. And when I do that, anytime I call up alpha A, this value will be there until I change it. Okay? All right. So back to the graph. We're going to do that again. Second, calc, five. But now we want the intersection that's way over here, right? And so I'm going to I'm going to toggle over there. Well, you know what I did? I think it would get go faster if I put it on the other one. All right, here we go i got to get closer to it to find that other one again. So is this the first curve yet? Is this the second curve yet? Am I closer to my guess? I hope so. I hope it takes me to that one. And the intersection actually is 1. So I'm not really probably going to store 1. I need to store my 3-digit, but not 1. So let's stop right now and record some things. So now I know that the point AC I'm just going to say um, A is equal to point zero one seven eight two one eight. I'm just going to write that. If I wrote A is equal to point zero one eight, I'd be okay. That'd be okay. But if I use point zero one eight, then it might round funny. So we're going to actually use that stored value that we have in our calculator. B is equal to 1. This B that we're talking about is equal to 1. And we don't need the Y values for anything, so I'm not going to go find those because I don't have the time to go find everything. So I'm going to go back and put that in my calculator. So all I have to do now is to put this in my calculator. And remember, B is 1. So you know I'm going to change that. A from um, pi integral of A to 1, because that's going to be easier for me to end with. So I'm going to do 1 plus my function that has the sign in it squared minus 1 plus my exponential squared. Okay, so I can put that in my calculator. So second, quit. All right, so I'm going to do, i got to do pi first. If I do pi first, I don't have to go back and, and insert it. Okay, there's pi. All right. Math, now, from alpha A, which is now C, and it's stored as that until I change it, to 1 of parentheses, 1 plus, and where's that sine function? Let me go look. Your sine function's in Y1, your exponential's in Y2. when you have to go back and get and all that. Okay. And I'm going to need another set of parentheses. So second, 
delete, it's insert. Okay, 1 plus y1 parentheses squared. You're going to right arrow to get out of your exponent. Right arrow to get out of your exponent. Minus parentheses 1 plus y bars, and now we would like y2, so we're going to hit the 2 button, squared. Oopsie, I got squared too much. Okay, now I'm ready. Sorry. All right, there you go, squared. And then I need to say with respect to x. Because if you're going around an x-like axis, that means parallel to the x-axis, which we are, then everything has to be in terms of x. We have functions in terms of x, we have limits in terms of x, and um, we have dx. All right, so let me go back and make sure I can read this. All right, I see a trick. Second left takes you all the way back to the beginning. So pi from a to 1 of 1 plus y1 squared minus 1 plus y2 squared. And when we hit enter, we get the magic value of 4.558 or 4.55 if you round 9. All right? We did that all on our calculator. So let's go write our answer. So the answer to this is 4.55 and I round 9 cubic units, whatever that is. Okay? So let's kind of recap this for a minute. When your area that you're rotating, see how that's not up against this guy that we're rotating around? And I forgot to write my rotate around thing. See how it's not up against that? You're going to have that inner circle that you're going to have to subtract. So it's going to be outer circle minus inner circle. Big donut minus the hole is the area of what's left. If you add up infinitely many of those, you get the volume of the object. Hope this has been helpful, and in the next installment, we're going to go do some things by hand instead of on the calculator. Thanks. Bye-bye.